I'm traveling at great speed and it's like I'm traveling to a destination and there's black space all around me and I'm being pulled or sucked into something that's curving to the right like a, as if you a racing car yes and you see a right hand turned coming but you're going so fast and you've just got to go with it and now it's turning towards the left but it's at such vast distances mm -hmm. and these speeds of light so if you're going through a tunnel at night time an underground tunnel yes and as you go so fast you know how the light flashes past you mm -hmm. yeah. it's like zoom 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 it's that's what it's like and i'm being pulled into this incredible vortex wonderful so i'm going to count now from one to three and when we get to number three you'll be arriving at your destination to find the answers to these questions one two and three you're there now what is this place so it's tucked far far away it's i'm sort of just bobbing through the the top of the clouds mm -hmm. yes and it looks like a desert island And it's newly formed. Mm -hmm. Are you being drawn to this island? In actual fact, it's changing into almost like a volcanic, like the volcano mm -hmm. erupted. And that's what has formed this island. Mm -hmm. And it's still smoking slightly off the top. It's about creation. Mm -hmm. They say when you have creation, yes, it comes with incredible force mm -hmm. to open up. Yes. Force is needed. It doesn't doesn't happen gently. Mm -hmm. So what are we in the process of creating now at this time with humanity? Although that is very apt. Once again, you're the head of the game. So there's a new timeline forming for the human for the humans. And it is force. It is like the hands are being forced into this new era. They don't wish to have an upset in their system. But it is something that has been constructed. And it is destructive, destructive to many. But it is constructive at the same time. And that path that they showed me going at great speed, this new era is gaining 
momentum because there is a very large force coming behind it, pushing it along like a trajectory. It's It's got a speed all of its own now. It's We're showing this one, if you have a round smooth boulder in the top of a ski field, top of a mountain, and you just give it a little push, it's going to go hurtling down the mountain and no amount of humans will be able to stand in front of it and get it to stop because it'll go right over them and through them. And so is it with this new way, a new wave of energy that is coming. It's clearing the path. Mm -hmm. And we don't, we don't wish to put fear into the human mind, for they have enough of that at the moment. But let us just say, there will be many, many changes in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. But Alba, things in relationships hum along and then one feels upset or maligned with another and one holds it in and holds it in. But all the time it's building and building and building inside until it reaches what you humans say, boiling point. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes out, sometimes it's not very pretty. All the words are, are expelled that have been held in for so long. Mm -hmm. And it's a verbal explosion, but once it's out, then the situation can be seen for what it is. And then there is a gentleness, a settling, mm -hmm. and a new way forward for the old way didn't serve that particular couple. And so it is with this new way of being. It's going to reach boiling point. There are many that are very unsettled, unhappy with the way things are at present. So it'll reach boiling point. It'll all come out in the wash, so to speak. And it'll be a lot of dirty laundry and people will be shocked to their core. There will be many that won't want to see mm -hmm. or try and turn away, hoping deeply that this is not so, that the scare has to be pulled off the pus has to be cleaned out and the wounds in humanity run very deep, deep scarring. So there's much that needs to be addressed in the future. So you talk about relationships and how we need to settle things in our relationships, but where is all this scarring that you speak about? What is that all about? Alba? I would like 
any of your listeners to walk, to get on their bicycles, to get in their cars and go and park outside a doctor's office, a doctor's rooms on any given day of the week and open the doors to the waiting rooms, to the hospitals. Do you think on any given day those waiting rooms and the hospitals will be empty? No. So, when we speak of scarring, we speak of emotional trauma, we speak of abuse, we speak of lack of self-esteem, we speak of intergenerational trauma. There are many areas where the human is scarred for they do not know who or what they are. You know, Alba, we've spoken before of the ABCs where they go to school yes, and they learn in the antiquated way, the reading and the writing and the spelling, but nobody tells them about the value that they hold, the different abilities that they have. So they grow up not knowing who they are and not knowing that they have value. Mm -hmm. And so they are deeply programmed into thinking that they are less than another and their fathers and their fathers before them had the same programming and so it is termed an ancestral lineage and that's why we say the scarring runs so deeply mm -hmm. for this one's grandfather was beaten then the grandfather beat the father and then the father beat this one so this one broke that cycle for we filled her with photonic light to see a different way to teach a different way to stop the scarring. It took her a long time for her to know what she is other than human. When this boiling point comes, many will be seeing what will be opened old ancient sites that humanity has not seen with writings with drawings with information to show them the star seeded lineage And then Alba, the revolution will start. Hmm. It almost seems impossible at this time with so much censorship, now that people cannot even find the truth. Alba, if you have a hurricane hitting a town, mm -hmm and the windows and the doors are flying off. Do you think at that particular moment anybody's thinking of censorship? <laughs> no. What are they thinking of? Survival. Survival. Mm -hmm. 
when those that are in power what you to empower at the moment mm -hmm. when their roofs and their windows are blown up and away and they are exposed do you think at that moment they are going to be thinking of censorship no not at all did we not say that there is a great force behind you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did we not say that this is a time for ascension? Mm -hmm. Yes. Did we not say that the fusonic light will lift you all? Mm -hmm. Yes. Did we not say that the water will join as one? Mm -hmm. That there will be land where there was no land? And there won't be land where there was land. Mm -hmm. That humanity will learn to find their sweet spot. And that it is time for Gaia to reach her place. It is time for humanity to reach their place. To let the light in, to expand, to be light as in not heavy, so that they can rise above. Alba, we feel at the moment that humanity are treading water. Mm -hmm. They are waiting for something to happen. Yes. It is building. They feel the pressure. In this last week, we have gifted humanity a new strand of energy. There are many that are suddenly feeling energized, ready for new projects, new beginnings. There are many new births at the moment hmm. okay. to many young parents and the energy that is being generated by these new beings hold immense light hmm. for they are part of the new dawn. Can you tell me more about these new babies, these new, new children? Humans understand wattage. Mm -hmm. Whether you've got 100 watts, 40 watts, 60 watts, as you have lamps in your homes, Mm -hmm. and they take different wattage. The earth needs to be lifted. It needs to be lighter. The higher the frequency, the lighter the load. So these new beings that are star seeded are coming in with a high frequency, a high vibration, with beautiful, exquisite patterns. When we look at the older humanity, those that are fading away, their patterns are set. We would now like to give you a visualization of lace, mm -hmm. because most humans can relate to this. If you look at lace, you'll have what's termed common lace. The pattern is not very intricate, int intricate. 
not finely woven. And then you have very, very sought after lace, Portuguese lace, very fine, magnificent patterns. And so it is with humans. You'll have a heavier pattern or a very fine pattern. Those fine patterns, Alba, do they not hold more threads? Absolutely. Filaments. Mm -hmm. Now, did this one not discuss with you the ninth chakra, the motherboard, yes. the mothership? <laughs> yes. That mothership held all the filaments that ran and connected with the DNA with all the parallel lives, all the future lives, all the past lives, as you term it such. Yes. Now, these new beings that are coming in are like an upgraded latest Apple computer, mm. not the model born in 1958, 1968. 1978 but the year 2021 do you see the upgrades in the computers yes mm -hmm. how immensely different they are now do you look at the what you term a cell phone from the year 1985 <laughs> they were the size of a brick that's right the bricks mm -hmm. right and look at them now they are two completely different models capable of many different tasks. So these that are coming in now hold the vibration in a much stronger pattern than you have been able to hold it, accepting a few masters that are on this earth domain are able to hold the frequency as these new beings do. Does that answer your question? Yes, yes. So how can we protect these new babies from not losing their light, not lo losing their wattage? Alba, you are not here to protect them. They are here to protect you. Mm, okay. Hmm. So, as parents, you're we, asking we, the dark to look after the light. It's the <laughs> light that's often sears into the dark. Okay. So, for for those who have new babies now, how should they look at these babies? The babies are here to teach them, hmm. not for them to teach the baby. I see. The babies are here to remind them what life is all about. Okay to live in the moment. Mm -hmm. The baby's not thinking about paying the mortgage, the shopping list, where to go to on the next holiday. The baby is only thinking about its thirst and its intake and its output. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the parents clean up, feed through the one channel and clean out the other side. <laughs> That's all the baby is having the baby is not even thinking about that mm -hmm. and yet the baby is connected to us mm -hmm. while you are pushing in one hole and pulling out the other hole as such <laughs> so how long have these very high wattage babies been coming in the last 10 years ah okay See the wisdom, you know, you have on your earth plane a show called, um, I think it's called American Idol mm -hmm. or some such. Yes. Or America's Got Talent, something mm -hmm. like that. Yes. Have you not seen these very, very young children, nine and ten years old, who are not only singing the songs, mm -hmm. but writing the words? Yes. 
And there's one we would like to name called Georgia Borgia. Mm -hmm. And she said she's only nine or ten years old. And although she has that wisdom, she still needs them to protect her, mm -hmm. protect her physicalness from others hold her yes. and keep her safe. But Alba, now we want to speak about what we shared with this one this morning okay. about comfort mm -hmm. and a comfort zone. So you've got these babies that come through. All of you that are listening were a baby once and you were comforted and you were nurtured, some more than others, because of that intergenerational ancestral lineage that taught some better than others until they decide to change that pattern. They are held, they are comforted, and then they grow. They grow into adolescence and they grow into adults. And how do they comfort themselves, Alba? Are they cherishing themselves the way they were cherished when they were babies? Do they nurture themselves the way they were nurtured? We see an immense amount of self-abuse and the comfort that these adolescents and these adults are looking for are through drugs, through alcohol, through sexual relationships and it leaves them scarred for they are looking for comfort from the outside. The comfort that those babies got was a radiation of love. It radiated from the mother and the father's hearts from the inside. Long lasting warmth and passion cocooned, worthy. So when did the baby lose its way? When did the toddler, the teenager, and the adult forget who they are? Tell me, Alba, when did they lose their way? The only thing I could think of is the social programming, the school, what they had to do, how they behave. The discipline that's what I could think of so where does comfort mm -hmm. come from it's a sense of belonging yes it's a sense of knowing that you have value mm -hmm. and this is why we say this needs to be taught there are a few parents that are awake and aware and teach their children who or what they are. But the majority are taught the more things you have, the more value you have. And that is why 
especially in your area, Alba, of America. It is looked up to and revered if you have many dollars in your bank account, mm -hmm. if you are what is termed famous, then you are put on a pedestal and then this is something that the population, the populace look towards as filling oneself up and aiming to be like that. Mm -hmm. But it is still empty for it is shallow for it is not radiating from the inside out for it's all surface. And this one's favorite new saying is popcorn. Those things are all popcorn, light and fluffy. And as she says, and she doesn't use the word, but she says light and fluffy, but if all substance, she said this to hit a nerve and she says it is time for casserole casserole conversations mm -hmm. hearty warm nourishing nurturing for the popcorn has no nutritional value as opposed to the casserole. And when one thinks of those, does one think of sitting on a winter's day and having a casserole as opposed to a plate of popcorn? Mm -hmm. One will feel more satisfied with one than the other and it'll last longer. It'll give more energy to the system so now we wish this to be used as a way for people to think about their relationships, about themselves, and what is it that they are chasing. The comfort should always be within themselves knowing that their 3D body and their invisible energy centers, their chakras, which work together with their body, is their hotel, is their home, while they are here with this current incarnation in this energetic form. This is their energetic output. But what they are doing is they have all these plugs so i want them to now imagine their human form and they look like an octopus with cords coming out of them and plugs electrical plugs and there's a big wall in front of them and it's like a switchboard and they've got all these plugs that they've plugged in. One's going to the ex-husband who treated them badly. One's going to the current lover that they're not too sure about. One's going to an abusive father. Another one's going to the job that's draining them. The other one is going to the group of friends where they always feel inadequate and trying so desperately to keep up. The other one's plugged into the pharmaceutical company. The other one's plugged into the food company, to the banking organization. And these are all draining them, Alba. These are all anchoring them. So we're now showing this one Gulliver's Travels, mm -hmm. and yeah. you have this huge giant and his arms are out and his legs are out and their ropes 
every week and he's secured into the ground. Do you think he's going to be going anywhere fast? No. So with all these plugs that these humans have plugged in to others and other things, how then do they have the energy to run their system? Mm -hmm. So what we want them to do is to do a little meditation, find a nice quiet spot, look at their switchboard, their wall, look and see how many plugs are running, draining their system, and start pulling them all out. And then they just go whoop. Like if you are vacuuming and you've got a one long plug, sometimes the new modern ones, you just give it a jerk and it just goes boom, straight back into the little hole. Mm -hmm. Right. So unplug from the switchboard. And a very good way is to get the most beautiful saber, like a laser beam, because you don't want them to go back into your body, into your system, into your ethereal system. Just get that laser beam and go, um, 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 yung, 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 yung. Mm -hmm. Cut the cords. Every single time you have a cord out. You are draining your system. You are tethering yourself to one place. Mm -hmm. You can't move quickly. And we said to you before, this is a time to move quickly and with lightning speed for the trouble times ahead need you to be present. Now, Alba, we want to tell you that there's a lady called Caroline Mace or Caroline Miss. Mm -hmm. And she gave the most beautiful example. And we're going to share it with your audience. Yes. She held up a pen and she said to the audience, you really want my pen. If you can't have my pen, it will absolutely devastate and rock your world because this pain keeps you going. It's everything that you need to fulfill you mm -hmm. and live your life's purpose. Mm -hmm. And they all looked at her oddly as if she had rocks in her head. <laughs> and she said, so do you believe that? And of course, no, they don't care whether they have her pen or not. Mm -hmm. And she said, that means if this pen doesn't hold any power over you, then there are no cords attached. Nothing's tethered, nothing's anchored, nothing's pulling you down. Mm -hmm. So when you come to people in your life, jobs, relationships, situations are they like the pen or aren't they as soon as they are not the pen that you can do without then you know you are anchored and you are tethered mm -hmm. and then you are leaking your power you are starting to drain your system. When you start draining your system and giving your power away to others, then you start depleting. Then your 3D and your invisible energy field is out of kilter, it's out of alignment. 
there's not enough energy to run the system because the anchors, those lines are draining you, those situation, those people, those wants and those needs. As a result, you start getting back pain. Mm, okay. You start getting sleepless nights. And you know, this one told you in the discourse about thoughts. Mm -hmm. Thoughts creating a heavy color, red with rage, green with envy, and the energy not being able to get through. Mm -hmm. And then your body is not at ease, and then it is at dis-ease. Mm -hmm. And so your system starts crumbling. But we would like to expand that today and say it is not the fault alone. It is what the thought is attached to. That is the tether. That is the anchor. Alba, when a ship sails, what does it do? It pulls up the anchor. Mm -hmm. It's not going to cross those sees and see all those other beautiful magnificent places if its anchor's not pulled up yes so these beings that want to find their life purpose isn't that what they always say tell me my life purpose <laughs> always but they haven't connected with themselves and yet they want to go out there when it's all in here they haven't taken and pulled the anchors up to leave the harbor. Mm -hmm. You started today by speaking to this one about the night sky. Yes. And she saw that bright planet last night. Mm -hmm. This one is a star surfer. She's a planet surfer. Mm -hmm. Well, she doesn't have anchors anymore. She has pulled those anchors out with your help through the discourse. She has got to know herself very well. And we put you together with this one in order to reach humanity through the discourse, to show them where their anchors are, how to pull their anchors up, and how to set themselves free. And that is what ascension is all about. Mm -hmm. Setting yourself free, rising above, and ascending with Gaia. So Alba, these people are feeling the tension, that the things that are anchoring them are beginning to pull too deeply, too heavy. And so this one on her YouTube channel spoke about the chess game and about the kings and the queens and the knights, and then the pawns. The kings, the queens, and the knights are your pharmaceutical companies, are your governments, mm -hmm. are your food industries, your banking systems. Mm -hmm. They have been top heavy on the game, on the chessboard called life. Mm -hmm. And the pawns have been at the beck and call and the whim mm -hmm. of those bigger players. And then we said, we told this one, that this chessboard is being divided at the moment. The big players, and then the pawns are the people. Mm -hmm. And then a section on this game board decided, let's call it, to take the medicine that has been issued at the moment to many on your earth plane. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, there were the pawns going, no, 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 we're not playing that game. <laughs> we, we choose not to be part of that game. And the other pawns are going, no, no, we're taking it, we're taking it. Mm -hmm. So there was discord on the game, mm -hmm. orchestrated by the big players. Yes. But then there was a third lot that were saying oh hold on and they were running in between the knights 
and between the kings and the queens, all over the chessboard, in between the ones that wanted to take it, in between the ones that said, we're not playing the game. And they stood back, they retreated, and they said, hmm, let's just look at this in a different way. And so they gathered together, linked, like links on a chain, and they decided to look and see underneath. They took the layers away. They wanted to see what was going on. And so they went underneath the chessboard. And we told this one, when one goes underneath the game and sees it for what it is, now the game is in jeopardy. The board is teeter-tottering. It is no longer stable. Mm -hmm. Those big players were in it for the long term. Mm -hmm. But the board is not even anymore because the players on the board are pulling apart. They're not just moving. Humanity is one. So the game has become very, very un stable but we would like to point out this game has been orchestrated this game is going according to plan those that have chosen to take the medicine are part of your team they are not separate from you they are part of the disclosure that we spoke about. They are pulling away the veil. They need your love. They need your support. The players that are left that decided not to play the game with those discordant ones that went underneath to disrupt the game will be taking different positions moving forward into the new golden era. They will be nurturing, supporting, and loving those other ones. For you all came with one mission in mind, and that was for ascension to help Gaia take her place in amongst her new star system, therefore taking you all back to your star-seeded systems. For you are much bigger players than any of you realize. You think of yourselves as the Albers and the Jills and the Pennies and the Davids and the Robs, all the little human names. You think of yourselves as small players, but this is but one fractal of who you are. This is one of your games, like a movie, and you have your different scenes unfolding. Alba, you haven't got to the grand finale yet, to the ending. How is it going to play out? We are behind you. There is much light. Gaia will ascend. Many will be at their way stations. Many will go to their landing platforms greeted by their star-seeded lineage than their soul families. Those that are left behind will grieve. And grieving is an emotion. And that emotion resides in humanity, for this is an emotional plane. And it means that you had great love for a period of time. 
but that love, that vibration, that frequency will not leave you. For you are all connected to the all that is. You all have the mothership. That motherboard with all its filaments connected to the all that is, connected to each other. Remember, Amen. You are a spark of God. You are a spark of source. You come from the all that is and you are boundless. You will be temporarily disconnected as such. And that is where the grieving takes place. But you have died and lived in many different forms, many, many times. We said, this is but a new dance. Life is a dance. Give yourselves comfort this day. Enjoy the tea. Enjoy the beautiful meals. Look at the sunsets. Go for swims, feel the water splashing across your bodies, feel the sun caressing your shoulder blades. Look into the eyes of the ones that you love and just be, get back to basics. You're all playing your parts. We salute you. We commend you. You are not alone. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that. And I know that those who are listening are always going to ask the same question. How long is this going to take? <laughs> Alba, we would like to give you five years. Okay. Five years for changes, nine years for greater changes. There are many that are concerned. There are many that are contained. There are many that are not moving because of this new medication, mm -hmm. that they are not allowed to go here. They are not allowed to go there. But as we said to this one, nothing lasts forever, not even the current situation that you find yourselves in. So get a new hobby, start reading, start listening, start communicating with each other, start communicating first with self. We want humanity to start a meditation every single morning before their feet touch the floor listen to your beautiful meditations that you've gifted them. There are many. Go silent. Connect with self before one starts the day. Then one is immediately connected to all that is. And then go about one's day. And at the end of the day, we would like one to give appreciation for what happened during the day that the lungs were there so that they could breathe mm -hmm. so that the airways filtered the oxygen through all the cells the eyes were working they could see beautiful things the hands were there to feed themselves and love another there's so much to be grateful for and as they have the gratitude, it'll filter into them and then they will visit with us during their sleep state. We will give them their lessons mm -hmm. for the following day. That is when they rest their motors. We told this one when she discovered her body was separate to herself. Please to see each organ in your body. Please to notice each one does a different job. Each one needs a different kind of food stuff. To look at your chakra colors, that is 
your food pyramid, not what you have been taught on earth, but your colors of your chakra system are the foodstuffs for your energy system. Look after them, ask them what they need, and then you will be present in each moment. You won't be worrying about the next moment because we have already gifted you the lessons that you will have the energy for, for the following day when your motors are on purr mode, like a cat purring, resting. Mm -hmm. The engine needs to purr at night so that in the morning when you press go, it's running on all cylinders, smoothly, efficiently. Mm. Live in the moment, give it all you can with no regrets. Use your voice, your throat chakra. Note she put white on, she had pale pink on. We told her to wear white today. She was too lazy to get out of the soft pink top because it was cozy. <laughs> and we put her in white and we put white specifically around her throat chakra because it encompasses and holds all the light. Did we not say in a previous session, Alba, humanity should wear white at least once a month and have that as a national white day so that they hold all the light and by wearing white, no matter what color skin tone you are, you are embracing all your energetic system, all the colors within you, honoring yourself, and you are honoring all the frequencies around you. Mm. White honors. Beautiful. I guess I got the memo too. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, synchronized. <laughs> Very good. So who are we speaking with today? James, Jesus' brother. Very good. So James, we I... To, Alba, we want to speak about Jeshua. Okay, please. Jeshua is coming through to many at the moment. Mm -hmm. His light is getting closer and closer. Jeshua was with this one this week very strongly. When she first came to see you in 2017, she said she felt something above her crown. It was as if there was actually something pulsing there. She could, she could feel it physically. Mm -hmm. She felt that if she had to put her hand there, she would actually connect with something. And he has enveloped her. He has put his hand on her crown. Mm -hmm. And she has felt him deeply. He has given her much courage, as you know, over the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. to speak her truth. And we tell her truth is light. Truth is the light. When humanity speaks their truth, they will feel lighter. The heavier anchors will be painful to remove because their energy has been aligned in that old pattern for a long time. Mm -hmm. But you were gifted vocal cords, frequency and sound to be used 
to be light for your words hold immense power and were the words not used i am the truth the light and the way Do not constrict this area, says Yeshua. He said it is time for freedom for his people. Stop contracting yourselves. Every time you do that, your cells get smaller, the light gets squeezed out, the body parts hurt. He says, I am with you, I am in you, call my name, say it out loud. Practice it with your lips. You are not alone. I hold you in my light. For those of you that are coming to the end of your energy output, I welcome you home. This one saw the light at the beginning of the session going at full speed, at warp speed through the tunnel, being sucked into the vortex, into the island, the new creation that came through with such force. And so will it be with those through these troubled times. I will give you a safe passage. You will come through the tunnel of light, which is guarded by all the angels and the archangels holding you, protecting you, comforting you. You are always in my golden heart. I will be speaking through this one on many occasions in the future with Alba by her side, letting you know, reminding you my children that you are not alone. You are like a blood vessel in my eternal being. And as I am being, so shall you be so be it <laughs> and now we want you to understand understand the word and the words so be it You are the it, the energy, the light, the eternity, for there is no end, for you are 
boundless. B boundless. Be not tethered. Be not anchored. I spoke through this one today about your anchorings. I am your anchor. Abide in me and set yourselves free. It is time for the fifth dimension. Welcome home. Thank you very much for that. Is there anything else or do you feel that we are complete with this session? We are complete. Very good. So I want to thank James and Yeshua for this beautiful session. And I'm going to end it by striking the tuning fork for the throat chakra so that we can begin to release even more. And when you're ready, Joe, you could just come back. Wow, you comes a lot of information. A lot more than you thought we were gonna do. So wow. It seems to be the same message. But this time I had such an understanding of how we um how we lose our power. I mean a lot of people think, oh, well, you have a negative thought and you've just, you've got to keep it, keep it positive, keep it positive. But it's so much more than that. It's not about, yes, keep a positive thought, but you can't, that's a surface thing. You've got to see why you feel that you've got to do the positive thought. Mm -hmm. What are you overriding? Yeah. So you're putting... This is a rude thing to say. You're putting icing on shit. Right? I don't know how else to say it. Well, that's why we, you know, when I do my sessions now, you have to find the origin of what that is. You have to go to that's, the origin of it. That's what it is. Those are your anchors. Yeah. Those are your those are your 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 drains. It's just like a drain, you know, you put you're plugging into something that you think you need. You think somebody else is better than you. Yeah. You think that um, the situation that if you only have the new car, if you have the beautiful home, mm. if you are able to afford to go on a trip like your buddy, all those things, mm -hmm. those are the things that are going to fill you up and make you um, happier. But when they showed me all those famous people and um, everybody going, Oh, we'll give you a million dollars because you play football well. Oh, we'll give you two million dollars because you can sing. But yeah. those people are still getting divorced. They're still getting sick. They're in hospital. They're depressed. They're having operations. Um, they're, they're taking empty. drugs. They're empty. They, they are filling up from the outside because, and it's over and over, it's the same thing that they said I've got to teach people is – know who you are mm -hmm. when you know who you are you have such incredible power and that's why the powers that be don't teach us who the hell we are because if they did they wouldn't be able to control us anymore and we would and the stupid 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 thing is oh but this is really beginning to irritate me yeah it's like you've got um 
it's like when you've got a herd of buffalo that's what they're showing me in in within the animal kingdom you've got a herd of buffalo you've got about 300 buffalo and then you've got five lions and the lions come in and they start jumping on one buffalo yeah. and then they kill the buffalo but if the buffalo got together and started charging the lions mm -hmm. the lions wouldn't have a hope in hell they'd have to run for their lives and yeah. people have forgotten that when they club together and join together if they want something strongly enough they will go no more this is no 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 we are not playing that game we want clean food we don't want to be charged an arm and a leg of interest in these incredible um, credit cards and all this kind of stuff. We're not here to feed you to such an extent that we are s surviving, not thriving. Yeah. But they've handed their power over. Yeah. And it's changing. I tell you right now, if you could have seen that force coming behind me, pushing me, pull, pulling me into the vortex, but coming from behind me, and they were saying, this is the force. This is the Intergalactic Federation of Light. And Jesus is on that council. And that is that light, that huge light that is being pushed, coming for us all now. Things are going to change rapidly in five years' time. Wow. It's amazing. <laughs> so... You know, when we started this, you were pretty nervous. Yes. Like always. <laughs> <laughs> we today really... I was sure it's going to, when I started, I thought, oh, she's making this up. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's funny because they usually give us topics to discuss. And actually, I don't think they gave us topics. I mean, I used, I used, I used your verbiage to just get you on that highway did that help i think the only thing that came through really which was the whole thing yeah was the comfort zone yeah and i don't even i can't even find where that was is it there uh, oh yeah that was the first that was the first line which i didn't even look into it says comfort is the first word i hear and the comfort zone these two need to be expanded on I didn't even touch that when when we were when I was uh, telling you about. Well, you know what, Alba? Yeah, that is the only word anybody ever, ever, ever has to remember. It's Jesuit's whole thing. Wow, is the comfort? Yeah, is within. Mm -hmm. If you're not comfortable with yourself, yeah. Every time you put a situation like that pen. Yeah. Right? Every yeah. single time. Then those things have got power over you. Mm -hmm. Then you are out of your comfort zone. Yeah. That's how when how you know how powerful you are or how you've lost your power. Mm -hmm. And then you're not comfortable. It's that simple. And he is holding us. Mm. He he has got us. He's got our backs. So you've absolutely just go and have fun, man. Just go and just go and be fabulous, you. Just vibrate to that high, high frequency of who you are. Yeah. Wow. It's exciting. It was, nice. it was. So, how do you feel about this session? Did you feel that we we accomplished a lot with this? I mean, you talked on and on and on. Hmm? Yeah, I, I even heard myself talking, thinking to myself, "Is this ever going to end?" You just going. Blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> But I think they wanted to do it so many different ways yeah. for people to under, understand. I mean, I really, really didn't think Jesus was um, coming through at the end. I mean, James is chatting, and the next minute, this force of power just boom was... came in. <laughs> Get out of the way. Yeah. Wow. That's he amazing. said that he, he kept on saying in the end, um, he wants a session to be called Fifth Dimension. Ah, I was going to ask about that. And, nice. and and his name with it. Yeshua and the fifth dimension. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've just I've just gone oh wow. 
he's basically saying um, through him we will be um, I think really what he wants to he, he wants to reassure everybody um, they they people keep on forgetting they're so entrenched in the little the small human that they don't realize we're part of his team and he's saying hey kids how's it going on down there like pull your socks up don't forget who you are we've got a job to do yeah. um have some fun along the way go to the movies go and get an ice cream go to the beach um those are your perks of the job you know those are the perks go and go and have a few perks but don't forget you here to do a job and and we'll be back together soon Let's say uh, hi to everybody out there and thank you for joining us for this this course continues and uh, we hope that you enjoyed it and uh, let us know leave a nice comment and, and see how this affected you because we'd love to, to read your comments and see how all of these things that Jill is bringing forth is affecting you in your life. Okay, do you have anything else to say Jill? No, I just think it's it's just fabulous. Thank you for your expertise and um, you know making me once again feel comfortable. I really thought nothing was going to come through today. <laughs> it always so, does. It always does. And and just thank you to everybody for listening. And guys, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so be it. Oh, so so be it. So be it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Much love to everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>